this video I'll be showing you how to uh, make yourself a teleporter very easy in unity okay so when you load up a new scene kind of like this uh, you can delete both of these I mean not the lights but the main camera okay so we're but first we're gonna need a third person or a first person character which is done very easily by going to Vin windows and then package manager or you can just go to asset store and search for unity standard pack and then just download for there okay but i download that uh packet i mean the standard package from unity asset store before oh i'll have a link in the description you know okay so here we are this is the standard package it contains of some, some stuff in here a car or anything so this is the standard assets we're gonna click on import if not you can click on download right here in the next to it and then when you finish download you're gonna click the import button okay now it's here uh we can close this window close it and now we have the standard assets we're gonna go to characters we have a third person character or we gonna we can use the first person character we use third person character and there's a prefab right here yeah third person controller I think they're both the same okay but first thing first we are actually gonna need a plane so right click 3d object a cube and uh, we're gonna put minus one coordinates we're gonna make it long and big okay kind of like this and now we can drag and drop our first person controller kind of like this and our man is here hello Jeff we're gonna play Jeff today let, let me let the game wait for a second. It's not gonna take that long, but you know. Oh, so there's no camera rendering. Um, oh, it's Ethan! Oh, it's not Jeff. Oops. So we're gonna add ourselves a camera. Okay, we're gonna add the camera. Okay, now we're gonna add a camera, and sh camera should go with Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Now, here we are, we can press WASD, he can walk left and right, and this is Jeff, he can also jump, yep, and this is Jeff, okay. So, now we got our controller done, we're gonna create our teleporter, so what we wanna do is to create a, another cube, or a cylinder, or whatever, uh, I'm gonna create a cube, I'm gonna create a very simple one, I'm gonna create this, our first cube, and I wanna teleport from here to here to second cube i'll call it tp1 and tp tp1 and okay so we can identify what is that okay now it's our scripting time and there we go so there's two points like this one and two so now we're gonna go to assets and we're gonna go to script we create a script folder, create and folder, and we're gonna create a C sharp script. I'll call it teleporter. And now we're gonna double click on this. We're gonna open. Uh, yeah, I'm using Visual Studio. Okay, when we are starting, uh, we can delete both void start and void update for this. Okay. So, we wanna set up public. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, we're gonna set up public for the transform teleport target. So, so what this do? Uh, I'm not good at typing, but. So, the teleport target is the target that you want to go after you teleported. Okay, so yeah, so when you touch something, you will teleport to that target, which is command by our teleport target. Okay, now we're gonna need the player too. So, in a public, gonna create a public game object. 
a little game object player or the player so we will identify what is the player so when it hits something you will be teleported to the teleport target okay now we're gonna create a void on trigger so when we trigger something something will happen right trigger collide Lighter other. I'm trying to explain the code. <laughs> my, I'll do my best and explain the code. So, yeah, on trigger when you just hit something, trigger or trigger something, it's like on collision. Enter on void on collision or something like that. So, and yeah, we're gonna the player. So we're gonna. So what we want is the teleport from the player. To the teleport target so what we want to do is to write player the transform position so it will identify the position of the player equals to the teleport target dot transform dot position so what this do is oh don't forgot to put this this thing on the back too so what this do is to uh it will identify that if we hit something, we have hit with on trigger enter, hit something, so the player, so the player will be teleported to the teleport target, which is the teleport target right here. Okay, now we control shift and save. Open the Unity back up again. We're gonna wait for the code to import. Okay, cool. Now, so we wanna go to the teleport start right here, which is this box. So. For this box, we can add a color so you can identify it. Um, so here we are, the box collider. We can hit on its trigger, so you know that when you trigger something, the player trigger it, and it will go to that box. So we're gonna add a component for the first starter point. We're gonna go and play teleporter script, and you will get a two variables, something like this: the player and the trans and the teleport target. So we wanna teleport to the teleportation one end so we're gonna teleport to this one and we want to identify the player so the player the third person controller now I'm gonna hit play uh, and we can try hit this thing so you can see uh, we got teleported if we can see we got teleported and yeah and kind of like that you got a simple teleporting system that's great yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah thanks for watching and see ya